today we are looking at this from os so here is the boot menu so these are all the options available in the boot menu so let's quickly boot it in the uh, live boot so this is the 2024 edition of june so i'm running it on a virtual machine which is a vmware with 60 gb of hard disk 8 gb of ram and my cpu is i5 1240p so let's wait until the desktop layout loads so i'm going to mention how much of time it consumes to load up the desktop layout so here is the stromos desktop layout it took exactly two minutes so here is the welcome screen so let's first change the display settings so it is a xfc desktop environment let's go to the display let's change it to 1920 into 1080 with uh, 16 is to 9 ratio keep this configuration let's open the uh, task manager so we can see what are all the changes uh, in the system resources so right now this is the uh, cpu almost under 30 percent and the memory is almost 1 gb usually the xfc desktop environment consumes uh, 1 gb so in a live boot but uh, when you install it i don't uh, properly remember it should be more or less uh, 100 or 200 mb so these are all the processes running right now let's check about uh, task manager so 1.5.7 so i'm going to put the uh, task manager in the right side corner so you can see all the changes throughout the video let's keep it like this so here is the welcome screen which is uh, installer visit uh, stromos site and uh, installer debug and read me all those things so let's uh, exit this thing and uh, let's open the internet browser let's see what are the browsers we get here so we get the chromium web browser so let's open it so i already made the stromos video in the previous uh, in my channel so i can, i think it was like a, a maybe year ago so this is the latest version here we have the installation with uh, gui and uh, cli don't sign in so let's uh, see the chrome browser version it's not a chrome browser it's a chromium so let's make it bigger let's see the about chromium the version is 126 i think this is the latest version and it's uh, arch linux so it's based on the arch linux so let's go to the official website let me type in stromos And we should be seeing the official website here. So making Arch Linux easy for people coming over from Windows and Mac OS it says. So these are all the features uh, as you can see. The XFC desktop fully customized, plenty of apps. You can read it everything on your own. So let's uh, scroll it down. So it's only available in the source forge and the website official website is in a source forge. So let's go to the files. So here is the readme. You can read everything here if you want. So it's uh, updates are from 5 13 2022. So it's a 2022. So we need a 2024 ISO file. So there is no release note or anything like that. So we need to uh, get all the information on our own so here is a summary here is the review support all those things so let's go to the files and go to the 2024 and uh, let's go to the xfce so here is the uh, iso file which is uh, 2024 06 29 which is uh, june but the iso file is available on uh, july so the file size is around 3.6 GB and uh, there is a 77 downloads which is also one of mine. So let's download it. So usually in a source code it's going to take like a 5 seconds uh, to start the download. So you need to wait for that. And the ISO file should be uh, started in the download section here. As you can see it's uh, 3.4 GB. So let's close it exit the download 
So let's open the terminal to get some of the display information. So it's uh, transparent. So it's a bit of customized uh, applications are available in the Astrom OS. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Let's type in INXI. So let's type in NeoFetch. So here is the NeoFetch. OS is Arch Linux. OS is virtual machine, which I already mentioned. I'm running it on a VMware. And here is the kernel and uptime. It's almost a six minutes. And the packages 1275. Pacman. Shell Fish 3.7.1. This is my display resolution. The desktop environment is uh, 4.18 of XFCE. And this is the themes, themes, icons, terminal, CPU, all those things. So let's type in cat fallen slash etc fallen slash issue. Hit enter. So I typed it wrong. So let me type it again. So here it says as the Arch Linux. We already saw everything here, so let me close it. So let's go with the installer now. Execute. Launch anyway. So it's going to take a few seconds here. And as you can see, the CPU is not pretty much stable. It's uh, a bit of high and low throughout the uh, video. Not throughout the video, it's almost 7 minutes of the video, but uh, there is no stable graph in the CPU. But the RAM is almost 1.2 GB. So here is the installer. So there is nothing complicated or new things in the installer. These are some of the basic things you see in every Linux distro. First, you need to choose your language. Click on next. Here are the drivers. You can choose the drivers here, like a Linux kernel, Nvidia, all those things, which is uh, which you can see right now on the screen. Choose whatever you want. Click on next. Here is the software. Just click on the drop down menu and you should be seeing everything here like a gaming application, virtual box, all those things. So after that you can go to next and choose your location. And here are some of the customization you can do that on your own. Click on next. Here is the keyboard. Choose your keyboard. Click on next. Here is the partition. You can choose a single boot or you can do the dual boot or whatever you want here. So you need to know how to install this uh, uh, Linux distros in the virtual disk or a hard disk. You need to see other tutorials of other channels because I don't remember in which video I installed the uh, Linux distro on the hard disk or a virtual disk because I covered almost like a 3000 to 2500 or 3000 videos of Linux distros. I'll, posting, I'll be posting like a two videos daily. It's pretty much very hard to uh, choose what Linux distro I installed. So it's... Uh, it's better idea to watch other channels like a five to six videos before uh, uh, thinking of installation. When you get all the information, then go with the installation. So you, here you need to choose your hard disk. If you want, you can encrypt your password or encrypt your system by providing the password, which should be same in the both the boxes. After that, choose your bootloader location. If you want, you can do that later. It's clearly up to you. Click on next and you should be seeing the users and uh, all those things you need to provide your username password all those things in these boxes like this and you need to provide the uh, password choose a password to keep your account safe i'm choosing the simple password so if you want, you can choose the required strong password. If you don't want, you just uncheck. Log in automatically without asking for the password. You can check or uncheck these things. So if everything is going good, you should be seeing a tick mark. Click on next. And here is the summary of whatever you choose in the previous installation. And you need to click on install. It's going to take like a 5 to 10 minutes. If you have a good NPC, it should be very quick. And if you have a low NPC, it should take more or less. And uh, I don't uh, really know what are the system requirements because I have like a 8 GB of RAM, so everything is going good. Just the CPU, uh, some right now the CPU is pretty much stable. Uh, I don't think anything have any issues uh, till now because almost uh, I'm I'm I've been using like eight minutes or ten minutes. I didn't find any issue. Everything is uh, going good. 
so if you want to try to install it you can do that uh, before that you always go with the live boot then if you're satisfied go with the installation so don't save anything in the live boot because it's going to erase as soon as you reboot so that's a tip i'm going to give so that's the installation process i'm not going to install because i need to make another video so let's check all the uh, desktop wallpapers which we get in this uh, linux distro which is strong os so there are a lot of wallpapers here almost uh, maybe one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think 20 25 maybe like that so here are some cool wallpapers here is a menu icons so again these are all some customization things you can do that on your own backgrounds nothing strong OS. so these are all the wallpapers you get you don't get the high resolution wallpapers you get the basic wallpapers let's uh, try to see another one so these are some basic wallpapers so let's close it let's check the about panel and let's check the uh, task map features which is uh, date and time notifications battery or power volume there are updates here octopi notifier you can customize the volumes it is the power management you can customize also networks let's go to the file manager about 4.18.10 file system you can change the view list view or compact view you can customize all those things you can even edit and change the preference side pane behavior advanced shortcuts keyboard all those things you can customize according to your wish you can even go uh, and check out all those uh, folders if you want so let's close this thing let's uh, find another things here so let's see what are the applications we get uh, pre-installed from the strom os so i don't think there is uh, bluetooth applications in here just some uh, strom os applications and some casual media players and xfc applications that's it i guess so you don't get any uh, content creating applications like a game blender that is pretty much good there is no bluetooth or anything in this uh, linux distro so if you like the simple linux distros uh, without any application installed you can try to uh, use this type of linux distros because you don't have anything uh, bluetooth here so that's pretty much good so i'm going to test uh, i'm going to take uh, try to make a, a stress test uh, which i do in every linux distro uh, i'll open like a random uh, 15 to 20 apps which consumes a bit of resources to see whether the linux distro will handle the stress test or uh, it will get uh, crashes or bug bugs or anything like that so i'll do in every uh, videos like this so that's the reason so let's open all the applications which are available so you don't get any of uh, heavy resource consuming applications in the uh, strong os so it will be a bad idea i think to try to make a stress test here so we don't have a bit of uh, resource consuming applications we just have a normal uh, less resource consuming applications like a vlc media player all those things we need to have like a game blender and uh, like a karen live so these are all the applications which consumes a bit of resources so we can get the idea whether this uh, linux system will handle the day-to-day -day task by opening like a five to six apps at once so that's the uh, main objective of this test so let's open whatever which is available as you can see there is no lag or anything like that so that's pretty much good kind of looks uh, a stable a linux system for me everything is opening instantly that's pretty much good let's even open the installer because we don't have anything here 
so if you want to try uh, if i want to make a test here i need to install all those application it's going to make a, again lengthy video so i don't want to make a video lengthy so that's the reason i'm going to open whatever the applications are available here development graphics you don't have anything here already open the chrome browser mpv media player office we don't even have a library office that's pretty good and a quantum manager let's open some of the applications which are available right here on the settings we don't have anything here other so i think that's good because we don't have any applications here so the ram went up to 1.8 gb and the cpu is almost under 40 50 percent can't even properly say how much of uh, cpu is consuming because there are some applications running be, uh, in the background so that's the reason so you can uh, like count it as like a under 50 percent because it's almost going to 48 percent and it's going getting down until like a uh 24 14 percent so that's the reason it's under 50 percent so let's try to switch the applications whether see we have any lag or anything like that so as you can see there is no lag or anything even if you have like a 2 gb of ram i think this this is going to be running pretty much good i guess and about the cpu i think dual dual core pentium should be run, can be run in this linux distro I think dual core Pentium, uh, maybe like a fourth gen or a fifth generation can run uh, this Linux system, I guess. So when we have like a major apps or a heavy uh, resource consuming applications like a Blender, GIMP and all those things, uh, we can say exactly how this Linux distro works. But uh, right now there is no uh, resource consuming here, just uh, the Chrome. Chrome is enough because that's a Chromium browser which, uh, which will be consuming a lot of resources. So but uh, here you have only Chromium web browser other than that there is nothing a uh, bit of resource consuming applications just the basic uh, lightweight uh, applications. So I don't think uh, so it's a good option at least you have like a 4GB of RAM in 2024 to run almost every Linux show which I mentioned in every video. So if you have like a almost a 1 GB of RAM, I don't think this will run on 1 GB of RAM or maybe uh, it should be running on 2 GB of RAM. But uh, if you have like 1 GB of RAM, I don't think it will run or anything like that. So if you have, if you want to try it, you can try it on a live boot. Then if you're satisfied, then if you want to install, you can install it's clearly up to you. So my final thoughts are everything is running good. There is no lag or any crashes or anything because it's XFC desktop environment. Most of the time XFC will be uh, pretty much good. So I don't had any issues. Everything is working smooth. So there is no lag or anything like that. As you can see, I'm using a wireless mouse. So that's the reason it should be a bit of a delay there, but uh, there is no lag or anything just the cpu is not pretty much stable as you can see let me show you so there is a high graph in the uh, cpu it's not even like a low it's almost like a touching up to 50 percent we just have like a web browsers and some basic applications it's going up to 50 percent but the ram is almost good so let's check the about information of the applications and end the video because we don't have anything uh, new here so here is the Chrome browser web chromium web browser information let me close that installer let's uh, exit this thing also tuner file manager volume controller octopi let's check the version the version of the octopi let's close it payroll media player so these are all from the xfc desktop environment so you don't get any of the applications pre-installed so if you love the uh, simplistic or the uh, whatever you call like a uh, uh, without bluetooth applications you can go with this linux distro so always try it in a live boot or then uh, go with the installation first if you want to install you can try it in the virtual disk and then go with the uh, into a hard disk or a main disk because it's not a known linux distro that's the reason i'm mentioning that 
if it's like a known uh, Linux issue like a Fedora, Debian, or uh, Ubuntu like that, you can just try to install. But it's not a well-known Linux issue. It's just uh, a random Linux issue which was uh, already made in the previous year, which uh, in my channel. So it's clearly up to you to judge whether to use it or not. I said whatever I used or uh, I almost faced i didn't face anything any issues so it's uh, that was my final thoughts so let me close all those things and end the video and make another video so if you want to subscribe you can subscribe because i'll be posting two videos daily without missing any day so in the themes you get some basic things just a single theme here in the icons nothing more fonts settings you don't get anything just the simple uh applications and here is the strong OS video recorder i think it's uh, launch anyway let's see so you get the uh, recorder here so you get all these applications at the end of the video this is the system resources which is process r282 and cpu is almost under 50 percent and ram went back to 1.3 gb and these are all the process running so if you want you can install uh, all the applications or whatever applications you want like GIMP or Blender all those things. So I think that's the end of the video. So let's uh, see the logout screen and end the video. Let's wait a few seconds here. So this is the logout screen you get. XFCE session. Live user. If you click on login it will be automatically logged in. So the username is live user and password should be automatically logged in. So I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Peace out.